Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Gusto mo bang pumunta dito sa Canada? Well, standby ka lang kasi dito sa channel ko pag-uusapan natin kung paano ang makapunta dito sa Canada, kung paano mag-apply, kung ano yung mga kinakailangan at kung paano mabuhay dito sa Canada. So ngayon pag-uusapan po natin ang isa sa pinaka vital na requirement papunta dito sa Canada which is the Educational Credential Assessment or ECA or ECA. Marami po kasing mga nagtatanong kung ano yung ECA. So as I've mentioned from my previous vlog, yung Caregiver Pathway po, diniskas ko doon kung ano yung ECA. Yun yung comparison ng kung anong tinapos mo sa country mo. Like in the Philippines, kung anong tinapos mo sa Philippines, iko compare nila sa Canadian education. So there are assessing bodies to do that. So and di sa description sa baba yung list of designated assessing bodies. And i papakita ko rin dito kung paano mag fill up sa isa sa mga organizations, which is the World Education Services. Don pa ako makufocus ngayon pero ipapakita ko rin yung mga ibang examples like from the ICAS, from ICES, like that. So, stay tuned! So, eto yung mga service providers natin. Uunahin natin yung WES. So, ikiklik mo lang yan and then idedirect ka na agad sa website nila. Then, here we will get started. Siyempre, wala pa tayong account, ba? Diba? So, piliin natin yung Canada. And then, there are there is this West Standard Application at saka EKA Application for IRCC. Piliin natin yon. So, mag-sign up ka kasi wala ka pang account. So, eto. Um, let's assume na at tayo si Anna Chen. Lagay lang natin. Mag-fill up lang tayo ng kung ano-ano ngayon. Just to show you na kung paano lumabas yung result. So, ayan. Make sure na yung mga nilalagay ninyong information ay tama according to your personal information. Mostly, mga personal information lang naman to and your school credentials. So, ayan. And the email address that you should provide is dapat yung ginagamit nyo para pag nag-email sila sa'yo, ayan, may marireceive nyo yung confirmation. And then, create password. So, tandaan mo yung password mo kasi you can go back later to edit or uh, you can save and edit your account. Kasi pagka hindi ka pa ready, pwede ka lang gumawa ng account mo and then you can go back pagka okay na yung status mo. Then you can apply na. So, there is this security question. Answer natin yan. So, ayan. Continue lang. Then... Ayan, ayan na. So, double check mo yung mga information na nilagay mo kung tama ba. And then, your address. You should also put a valid phone number para makontak ka nila in case hindi mo ma-receive yung email. Ayan, and then next, sasabihin na niya yung instructions. Andiyan na yung kung ano yung gagawin mo, ano yung mga document na kailangan mong i-upload, at saka yung kung anong i-request mo doon sa school ninyo. Ilalagay mo na yung information about your credential. And then yung choices. It depends on what you at attained. Ayan. Let's assume it's technical institutes. From Hong Kong tayo ba? Ayan. Maglagay lang tayo ng pang pangalan lang school. Para lumabas yung account natin. So, after finishing, i-save natin. And there you go, the recipient. Dapat i-check mo yung address mo kung tama ba. 
and then the recipient number 2 is the, the IRCC so by default na yun na nakalagay so diretso na isisend ng west yung result sa immigration So, click next and then andyan na. Andyan na yung babayaran mo. It cost $220. And then next, tapos pipili ka na kung ano yung method of delivery na gusto mo. So, if you wish to have the standard mail, $10 lang yon And then if you use courier, mas mahal yon $85. We're almost done. Ayan na. So, in the next mo na, and then processing, tas ibibigay na niya yung checklist ng required documents for you to provide. So, basically, they need your academic transcript of records. So, download mo yung request form, and then magre-request ka sa school mo, and then yung school mo na mismo yung magpapadala sa WES with the sealed envelope and signed or stamped across the flap. It is signed by the appropriate official of the school. Or kung pwede naman, ibigay sa iyo ng school yung transcript mo and then ikaw na mismo yung mag-send sa West basta yung envelope is sealed kasi hindi tatanggapin ng West pag hindi nakasil yun. Ito yung academic request form. Fifil upan mo lang according to your information. And don't forget to put your West reference number na makikita mo dito sa application mo. Once na nag-create ka na ng account mo, meron ka ng West reference number. So, ilagay mo doon. So, andito yung mga instructions before sending your documents and when sending your documents. So, this is the address where you can send your application. Continue the process and then there you go. You're almost done. Double check all the information para hindi tayo nagkamali. So, ang total ng babayaran mo is $230 kasi regular mail yung pinili natin kanina na mode of delivery. And then, ipaprom ka niya sa may harmonized sales tax. Just check no, kasi para lang sa mga nasa Canada yun. Continue lang and then, nandiyan na yung fee summary mo. Tapos magbabayad ka na, ayan, kung hindi ka pa ready magbayad, you can just save and exit your application and then balikan mo na lang pag ready ka na. You can always go back to the website and continue your application or change and edit some details on the information that you provided. So, ayan tapos na po yung account natin and we are ready for the application. Normally, it will take almost 2 months for you to get the result. So, ito yung sample ng result. It's just a piece of paper pero napaka-importante po nito sa application ninyo. So, in my case, I took up BS Computer Science po 4 years sa Philippines at ang equivalent niya dito sa Canada is a 3 years degree. So, depende po yan kung anong school ka nag-aral. At kung ano yung course na tinig mo. If your school is uh, fully recognized by the institution, mas mataas po yung ibibigay nilang equivalent. Pero case-to-case -case basis pa rin po yun. Iba-iba sila magbigay ng equivalent. So let's take a look at this another result po from ISIS. So she finished Associate in Health Science Education sa Philippines. Bale, 2 years po ito. And then... Depende kung ano yung institution na pinag-aralan niya. It is recognized also. So, the equivalence is one-year certificate dito sa Canada. So, eto na yung hinahanap ng Canada. Yung exactly one-year certificate. Kung undergraduate po kayo ng four-year course, I would strongly recommend for you to go to ECAS. 
kasi mas mataas sila magbigay doon. Pero mas mahaba yung processing. So, as early as now, simula muna para pag ready ka ng mag-apply, go na lang. So, yun po yung mga kinakailangan nating gawin. And if you think you are qualified, you may now start doing your application for the ECA. And I hope meron po kayong matatagpo ang trabaho. Magkahanap tayo ng trabaho sa job bank. Marami namang pagkahanapan dyan. And sana makita ko kayo dito sa Canada one day. Gusto nyong maging updated sa mga videos na gagawin pa natin. Please hit the subscribe button da somewhere down there. And then hit the notification bell para naman ma-notify kayo kapag kami mga bagong upload. So see you! Marami ng mga cars, hindi na ako nag-iisa.